Hi everyone and welcome back to my new model Barmy channel and part four of the shelf layout. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you how I attack the scratch building of the buildings uh, that I generally put on my layout. I tend to scratch build everything because it all has to be specific sizes. Um, so and at this point actually I'd like to uh, give a shout out to uh, another channel, James Demu. Uh, who's given me some uh, help with uh, this particular layout and some guidance and for providing some of the inspiration with his excellent Kirkby in Ashfield layout. So I'll try and include a, a link. So check him out. He's got some brilliant stuff on his channel, uh, some really informative tutorials. So uh, well worth a look. Uh, so thank you, James. Uh, and let's uh, let's crack on and take a look and see what I've been up to. So here you can see that I've built a card mock-up. Uh, I've downloaded Scale Scenes uh, Coal Stage to give me a template to work to, to give me an idea of sizes of windows and doors and positioning and all that sort of thing. Bought some ratio windows to use, uh, and here I'm just marking out the template uh, to cut out to overlay onto a piece of thick plastic card. So I'm using thick plastic card here to give the building some structural integrity and I'm oversizing the apertures so that when I push the windows through from behind they're fixing to the uh, surface rather than the backing. So I've cut the surround out of a window here to accurately cut out the apertures in the brick embossed plastic card and here you can see I've cut them out and added some additional plastic card detailing to the brickwork to give it a little bit more relief. So added some sides floors, roof, um, sorry, uh, details at the top rather, uh, to support the shuttle unit, because the shuttle unit sits on the top of this on a piece of foam board, uh, that's why it's got that little ledge running around it. Uh, obviously checked all the clearances, make sure the locos didn't foul. Here are the uh, formers for the roof of the water tank marked out, and then cut out and glued with a thinner piece of plastic card over the top to form the roof. So here we see the roof uh, completed next to the building. Another closer shot of the of the roof with some details still to add. Quick dry run on the layout to see what it looked like, uh, and I was quite happy with the positioning and size in re relation to the layout. Uh, just the little um, rails for the coal uh, wagon, which I've built there. Not prototypical, but I thought, yeah, that looks fine to me on an N-gauge chassis. Uh, added some steps to the side and a few more details to the water tank, as you can see, a little bit more relief work to the bricks. And that's with the coal chute in place. And happy with uh, how that's all looking. And now a bit of paint. So this one I painted with artists oil paints which are great because they blend together really easily uh, and you can get some great brick effects. The only problem is it takes about a week for it to dry. So once I'd done that, gave it a coat of uh, matte varnish. Uh, and as you can see, I've added some lights uh, and they are from Kites Lights, a uh, company based on the south coast where I am. Uh, they're actually on the Isle of Wight. Uh, close up there of the uh, coal chute. I've still got some more weathering to do on this. Um, but um, there we go with the roof off, and you can see the ledge there where the shuttle unit sits. And there we go on the layout with the lights on, just once again to see what it's going to look like. Uh, it has to be right because this dominates uh, this particular building. So while I was at it, I decided to scratch build the um, bridge as well, once again with uh, embossed plastic card mounted onto foam board, this time rather than thicker plastic card. Uh, and some more relief work, uh, some brick piers, foam board once again with uh, the, the embossed brick on the top of that and once again painted with artists oil paints which uh, as I say blend really nicely uh, but take forever to dry, that's the only downside of it but you can get some really nice effects with it and this sort of roadway on the top there, uh, I was able to blend the sort of dirt into the sides of the road really nicely on that uh, and on the layout I think that uh, that's going to provide quite a decent scenic break really bought some more uh, lamps from uh, Kites Lights, these are yard lamps I needed to make them taller 
because I don't want any wiring on the um, underside of the layout I've decided. I want to run it all on the surface. So I needed to make the yard lamp slightly taller. So I added those bases and a little slot at the bottom for the wire to come out sideways. Um, so that will be my next job, I guess. So uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, see you for part five. Cheers.